Hey guys, it's Jerry, and welcome to another Zomo Lomo video and part two of K7 Ultimate Security. Um, this is part two, but it's also take two. Um, I, I did this video about a week or so ago, and um, I ended up losing the video. I mean, it wasn't a great video anyway. The, the links that I were that I was using. Uh, most of them were dead, and uh, it just wasn't a good uh, a good take on part two. So I ended up kind of scrapping the um, video and starting over. And here I am giving it a second go at uh, at doing a prevention test for K7 Ultimate Security. Now, in my last video, <clears throat> we did an overview of the interface, <clears throat> all the um, components that are built into K7. We looked at this, the website. Uh, we looked at the fact that it's not a uh, not a cheap um, security uh, system or, or um, an application. It's about uh, I think we said about sixty dollars or something like that. So it's uh, it's up there. Um, one thing that I have noticed with using it for a few a few days is the uh, resources that it takes. I think I mentioned in the last video. Uh, looking at all the resources, there's about eight or nine of them here. Right now, it's running at about uh, 55, 60 megs. I've seen it as low as 40 and as high as about 160 megs. But that's really not doing anything. That's pretty much idle, which is uh, really high. Um, so I'm not sure uh, if, if um, they're going to... Um, address that issue but I mean you know if, if if it runs idle at 60 megs when you're doing a scan or an update or something like that um, you know you're gonna have to you, you, you're gonna need a system with at least four gigs of RAM in order for this thing to um, to run properly and the other thing that I noticed was when when this thing does an update every time it does an update it's gonna ask you to restart the computer which I'm not sure why it does that. I mean, I guess it's always a good idea to restart when your security software does something. But in, you know, nowadays uh, it's almost unheard of that a security software suite will ask you to restart every single time it does an update. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. That's not uh, <laughs> that's not something that's convenient for someone who uses their computer quite a bit and has to. Stop what they're doing and restart because you know K7 did an, an, an update. So I mean that's what I've noticed so far. Um, now what we're going to do is see how it does with preventing um, malware from attacking this computer. As you can see, I have my list up here, um, and uh, it's on. Uh, I think it's on. Yeah, it's on zero day here, pretty much. Uh, it's almost zero day. So let's go ahead and get started. Throwing some uh, links at it. It's all up to date. I did the update and restart. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get crack a lacking on this. Uh, first one is an exploit kit. It helps if I have my um, keyboard. <clears throat> Some kind of real estate site. Not much of anything happened there. Let's try the next link. There's a Trojan. The other thing, when I was uh, doing my first video, uh, we have an issue with the dryer. It, it, uh, it squeaks, you know, I guess it needs a belt. And um, when the thing is on, I mean, it is loud. It is obnoxious. It's, it sounds like, you know, there's like a million birds in my house that are being tortured. It's just, it's awful. And it was on when I was trying to do the video. And I'm sure that it was, you know, picking up the sound from the dryer. And it was just a... 
it wasn't a good take. I knew I had to kind of scrap that and start from scratch. So I'm glad I did. All right, so I'm putting in this um, Phoenix. No, the, what is this? This is a Trojan. Is a fake AB scanner. Yeah, something got through right there. That's not working. Yeah, there's like a million fake ABs right now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. This is a. Okay, so here's one thing. This is perfect. Here's one thing that, you know, for me, and I know, and I've, I've looked at a lot of uh, antivirus and uh, internet security suites. I like when my security suite tells me what to do. Um, you know, I don't like the fact that it asks me, well, do you want to block this? Do you want to allow this? Well, I don't know. You know, I have no idea. You know, I've I want to download something. I want to, you know, try to use that uh, game or you know, whatever. Uh, if I'm downloading it, then obviously, yeah, you know, realistically, I'm looking to download it. I want to use it, and I don't care about the consequences. You know, this is real life. This is what happens, you know, every day. Um, so a uh, internet security suite shouldn't ask me if I want to allow something or block something because... If I'm trying to download it in the first place, you know, realistically, users are going to say, yeah, allow it, and, you know, then they're going to get infected. So, you know, I want to use a, uh, a security suite that's going to tell me, hey, this is, you know, this is malicious, I blocked it, or let it through if it indeed is actually a, a trusted and, and clean uh, application or whatever. And that's just my two cents. All right, let's try a few more links here. That got through. Wow, K7, come on. Whoop. Something just totally <clears throat> shut down my Explorer. <laughs> wow. Hey, hello. That can't be good. Yeah, see, again. Application is accessing the internet. Do you want to allow it, block it? Sure, you know, I want that uh, fake game or whatever. Or I want to look at that uh, little uh, little movie, so to speak. Yeah, here's a fake scanner. Fake uh, window. And it uh, closed down all of my um, internet windows. Internet Explorer windows. Wow, that's something... <laughs> This computer is doing something weird. Uh, there's windows popping up left and right. Yeah, so this is this Windows 7 anti spy. This is gonna wow. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that are loading in the background. It's going to uh, block anything and everything from running. So, uh, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is a total fail. Um, let me see here. Let's see if it. Uh, no, it didn't. Didn't uh, load in a proxy setting. So uh, this rogue that uh, you know this, that was loaded in there, it uh, it's gonna block anything from opening and running. Uh, let's see. No. 
No. It's going to block it. Well, um, didn't really block anything. Uh, as we saw, there were a few things that that got through. We didn't really get any pop-ups from K7 to block any of the, you know, I don't know, six or seven links that we were able to put in there before it uh, uh, it loaded on this this rogue or whatever it is that's blocking everything from running. Um, so yeah. So let's see now, uh, I have it open here, let's just do a scan to see if it's going to detect and remove the, uh, the infection. So I'll do this, this complete scan, and when it's done, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, it's been a long time since uh, I paused this video. As you can see, K7 here is running, and uh, it's been stuck here at, uh, at 14,520 files for well over an hour. Uh, it's picked up some uh, in temporary files, some uh, intentional cracks and activators and stuff I have loaded on this virtual machine. Um, Hasn't picked up that uh, this uh, Windows 7 Rogue um, yet, but uh, it's not doing much of anything. And uh, I tried to start Malwarebytes, and uh, of course it's blocked from starting. Um, it doesn't do anything. You know, I'll double click on it, and uh, you know, you see it clocking for a few seconds, and then not much else <coughs> happens. So, um, what I'm going to try to do is, uh, I'm going to try to restart in safe mode. Uh, I know, you know, with this, I'll, you know, you would probably need some type of a, a bootable um, disk, maybe a Kaspersky bootable disk to uh, get rid of this while the system is, um, it isn't up and running. You have to do it at the, at boot up. Um, something like this probably won't go away uh, relatively easy. Uh, and you get these things that these scripts and so on that uh, launch in the background. I mean, God only knows what's happening in the background. Um, oh, but this this system is totally, um, you know, it, it's it's infected pretty bad. Uh, so let me try to restart it in safe mode. See if I can get malware bytes to work. Um, you know, I'm going to stop this scan because it hasn't moved in, um, it hasn't moved in quite some time. So, uh, that, that really didn't do anything. Um, so I'll restart it in safe mode, see if I can even do that, and I'll be back to show you the results. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, the other thing I wanted to show you here is, uh, look at this memory, uh, usage right now. Um, it's scanning at 550 megs. I saw it just a few seconds ago at over 700 megs. I mean, that is ridiculous. I uh, just wanted to show you that. I'm getting a, a, it looks like a fake action center alert in the background. <clears throat> but anyway, just wanted to show you that before I rebooted the, uh, the memory usage that K7 is using right now. So, all right, I'm going to pause it. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I uh, just restarted in safe mode, and believe it or not, that uh, Windows 7, whatever it is, um, it, it runs in safe mode as well. Unbelievable. Um, anyway, I was able to isolate in Task Manager the um, the process for it. I think it's called like PWF, or so you can you can just tell that it's um, that it's suspicious and uh, shouldn't be there. So I ended the process, and in the meantime, I, I kind of quickly clicked on malware bytes to run it, and uh, it worked. I got it to I got it to run. So um, so I'm scanning with malware bytes, as you can see, it's already starting to find things. So we'll let it run a quick scan, see what it finds, and I'll come back and show you the results. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just finished a quick scan and found about 12 things. I uh, found a bunch of um, files, some registry keys. 
um, values and data. So a um, bunch of stuff on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this stuff. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is a full scan with the malware bytes and uh, see if it finds um, something. Because I have a feeling that that Windows 7 uh, Rogue is um, it's uh, deeply embedded into the system. I'm going to try to do a full scan. Uh, I know I should be restarting, but you know I'll just do a full scan anyway. Uh, see what, if that finds anything else, and then come back and show you the results. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I uh, just finished a full scan with malware bytes, and after a full scan, uh, it says that the system is clean. So uh, at this point, I'm going to restart and hope that um, when I restart the system, it's going to be a uh, clean system with nothing else left. Um, so we'll see what happens. So I'm going to pause the video, let this restart, and when I come back, I'll show you the results. All right? Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, all right, so I restarted into the desktop. And as you can see here, it seems to be clean. That uh, rogue or whatever it was is gone. It's not coming up again. Um, system seems to be running normal. Um, you know, no thanks to K7. You know, it's basically malware bytes that are needed to run to clean up the system. You know, in malware bytes we trust. I swear that that piece of software can't beat it. Um, anyway, so final kind of thoughts on K7. Um, <laughs> uh, it didn't really do much of anything when we ran the uh, test and we threw the malicious links at it. It really didn't respond with anything. It pretty much looked like it let everything through. Um, I, I don't know, it, for, a paid, uh, uh, for a paid solution and uh, for what it offers, uh, obviously it's, I don't have to tell you guys it's not worth it. Um, to pay for K7. I mean, there are free solutions out there that work better, you know, in my opinion, than K7. So um, that's it. Just uh, wanted to give this quick test on K7. I would uh, not recommend K7 unless they worked on their um, signatures and their HIPS module uh, needs to pick up these uh, zero-day threats better than what it did. So um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and have a great day.